welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole. Today, we are going to be using AI to make a smoothie bowl. I've been seeing AI stuff all over the place right now, and so I thought, why not use artificial intelligence to see if it can make a smoothie bowl? I want to put it to the test. I've never tried it before, so I have chat GPT pulled up right here, and we are going to ask it to write the best smoothie bowl recipe for us, and then we're going to make it. Write me a recipe complete with toppings that any girl ages 18 to 34 would love. I don't know if I did that right. It says, sure, here's a recipe for a delicious summer smoothie bowl with a variety of toppings that would be loved by girls aged 18 to 34. Two frozen bananas, one cup frozen berries, one cup of coconut milk or any non-dairy milk, one tablespoon of honey or maple syrup, one tablespoon of chia seeds for the toppings, fresh chopped, oh, holy cow, they're going crazy on the toppings. Hemp seeds, chia seeds, edible flowers. I don't have any of those. All right, this looks yummy. Let's go get all the ingredients. Okay, we are back. I have all of my ingredients. We are going to start with our liquids first. If you're new to this channel, first of all, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. But I post smoothie bowl tutorials on here all the time. I started during the pandemic and just have so much fun making smoothie bowls and teaching you all how to make them. So be sure to check out my smoothie bowl playlists that I have on this page because I have tutorials on here showing you how to make smoothie bowls using pretty much any type of blender. And if you don't see a tutorial on the blender that you have, comment down below which blender you wanna see a tutorial on and I'll try to make one for you. Okay, now we're adding two frozen bananas. I actually only have two frozen bananas left, so that's perfect. I haven't done a smoothie bowl tutorial in quite some time too, so if there's any specific flavors or fruits or smoothie bowls you wanna see, be sure to comment those down below as well. One question I get a lot is how to freeze your bananas. I always peel my bananas before I stick them in the freezer because it's so hard to get the peel off. It's literally impossible, so I always peel mine, but I keep my bananas whole because for instances like this, when it calls for two frozen bananas, if I cut my bananas up, I don't really know how to tell what is one full banana. So I keep my bananas whole when I freeze them. And then just like what you saw, I kind of break them up before I put them in the blender. These ones were a little harder to break up because I actually froze these when they were just turning yellow from green. If you wait a little bit for the bananas to get a little bit spotty and a little bit brown, that actually brings out the sweetness in the bananas. And when you freeze them, they don't freeze quite as hard and they're really easy to break up. So just a little insider tip. Some people don't like bananas, but actually it is the key ingredient to getting smoothie bowls super creamy and thick. There are alternatives alternatives that you can use if you really, really hate banana, but this unfortunately is the key ingredient to getting smoothies super creamy and thick. Now we are going to add one cup of our frozen berries. I will say I am kind of surprised it didn't call for any supplement powders like protein powder or collagen or anything like that. I feel like those are pretty typical ingredients you see in smoothie bowls. I at least always add a scoop of protein powder to my bowls. Make it more of a complete meal and to keep me fuller longer. I'm usually eating smoothie bowls after I work out and so that added protein just helps me build muscle and stay fit, you know? This honey's running out. I might just add the rest. Oh yeah. That's enough of that. This is random, but have you ever had the white clover honey? I lived in New Zealand for six months when I was in college. That's where I studied abroad. Life-changing experience. We can talk about that another time. I discovered Manuka honey and white clover honey when I was there. They make the best honey I've ever had in my whole life. You can get it here in the States, but it's really expensive. But man, if you feel like splurging one time, get yourself some Manuka honey or white clover honey because it will change your life. Last ingredient is one tablespoon of chia seeds and that's it. And now we blend. Wow. Yeah, I will say I'm curious as to the thickness of this because that is quite a bit more milk than I recommend in smoothie bowls. If you've been watching my videos, you know that I usually add like a quarter cup of liquid to start or just a splash and that was a full cup. So she looks thick, but I don't know. We also added two frozen bananas and I usually only add a half or one, so that could also play into this. I'm in the process right now of designing my own line of coconut bowls. I'm so excited. You guys have been asking me for some for forever and it's taken me so long transparently just to figure out how to manufacture them, but I'm getting so close and so stay tuned because I can't wait for you to see them. The consistency is pretty amazing. This one's thick. I'm impressed. Everyone's favorite part. Comment down below if you are a bigger fan of the dump 
the swirl, or the spin. Now it says, now comes the fun part. Start decorating your smoothie bowl with an array of delicious toppings. Okay, now it says to start with your fresh fruits. We're gonna add some strawberries. It says do it in a way that is aesthetically pleasing. We're just gonna go for it. That's what I like to do with my smoothie bowls. Just kinda experiment and hope for the best. Oh, I like that. It kinda looks like a forest. Okay, next it says to come in with some blueberries and blackberries. It's starting to get really full, so maybe we'll just do a couple of these. Finally, it says top with some granola to give it a little bit of a crunch. And finally, some coconut flakes. Okay, now for the spin, here we go. Oh, wow. This is stunning. She's overflowing. Oh my goodness. All right, there she is. I'm, y'all, I'm gonna say I'm pretty impressed. Chat GPT, you did a good job. Now we need to try it. You get the first bite. All right. Mm, whoa, that's so good. Wow. What I love about it is it's not too sweet. It's so refreshing. Honestly, the flavor profile is really good. Okay, now we know that AI knows how to make a smoothie bowl. So hey, if you get stuck on ideas or you want a new recipe, just hit up ChatGPT. After, of course, you visit my website and use my recipes. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you loved this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up before you go. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button because I drop new recipes and vlogs here on this channel every single Saturday morning. And it would mean so much to have you here as part of the family. If you want to connect and be friends, find me on Instagram and TikTok, and you can also sign up for my free newsletter. I send out a free devotional every Monday morning, and I'd love to send one to you. But until then, we'll see you next week. Bye.